Hi everyone, welcome to Shell Sugar Rush and welcome back if you've been here before. Today I'm going to be making 10 different Valentine treats. These are great for kids or adults. So if you need some ideas for Valentine's, stick around and watch me put them together. Now I'm starting here with the caramel pretzel rods. This is a really quick and easy treat. I just put together three of the Werther's soft caramel chews and roll them into a log uh, 12 inches long. And then I just attach one end to the top of the pretzel rod and twist it around, kind of keeping it even. And now moving on to our Rice Krispie Hearts. Here I've got the Homestyle Rice Krispie Treats and I'm just, I've smashed them out into a square that will fit this heart cutter and I'm taking the heart shaped cutter and just cutting those out and just taking that ex excess off from around the edges. Um, this makes an adorable little heart and then I am going to take that excess um, that I got from around those hearts and just um, pull out a flour cookie cutter and just shape this little piece into a flower so we have an extra piece there. And then I'm going to just use some six inch uh, candy sticks here, put a little chocolate on the end and put those in the end of each one and they're ready for dipping. And moving on to our Oreos, this is a new mold I got this year, I love it. I am piping some red into the word love here and I'm also gonna use some of the pink for three of them. And then I will put some of my white melted chocolate into the bottom of the mold. Um, now I did find some toffee Oreos as well as some chocolate Oreos this year. So I'm gonna be using those flavors. But here I like to put a little bit of the white chocolate in and then put, uh, I like to let it sit for a minute um, and put the Oreo down in it. And that kind of holds the Oreo in place to keep it from um, rising up in the mold. And now I'm just adding a little bit to cover the back of my Oreos. And then this set will be ready to go. And here I'm gonna use just my regular um, Oreo mold and I'm gonna do some of the milk chocolate ones. And then I'm gonna do a few in um, the color pink as well. And just the same process again, putting a little bit of chocolate in the bottom of the mold. And like I said, I do like to give it a few minutes to kind of set up just a little and put that Oreo in. And then um, of course, put the chocolate onto the back. Um, this is just the easiest process I've found. They, you know, come out nice and clean and you don't have to worry about um, those Oreos popping up or, or floating in that chocolate. So now these are ready to go in the freezer. And now we're gonna dip our cake pops. And I did um, go ahead and roll and set these cake pops up earlier. I put in a clip here so you can kind of see that process that I did. Um, but they are ready to go. I've got the sticks in them and I am dipping them in the pink and I'm doing sanding sugar on a couple of them. I'm leaving a couple of them plain and then I'm gonna dip a couple of them in white because I want a little different variety on the looks. So um, these are ready to be decorated and while I've got uh, my chocolate ready, I'm gonna go ahead and dip my pretzel rods and you can see here, um, normally if I have a lot, I put the chocolate in a piping bag and stick the pretzel rod down in there. But since I just got a few today, I'm just gonna do that with the help of the spatula here. And I'm just going around making a line at uh, where I want it to stop and or start rather. <laughs> and then, um, then filling in and shaking off that excess and adding a little bit of Valentine sprinkles to liven them up. And then at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and um, dip the Rice Krispie Treats as well, starting with the little flower, because that one will actually fit in my little mason jar. And then I'm gonna do the hearts, um, just using the help of the spatula again. And I'm just doing half of the Rice Krispie Hearts. I'm doing one with the milk chocolate, and, um, and then I'm gonna do the other two, of course, with the white chocolate. And this um, measuring bowl is a bit uh, bigger, so I'm able to actually dip half of the Rice Krispie Treat down in that. So I'm gonna let these set up and, um, and then we'll give those a little bit of decoration as well. And right now I'm just gonna add some hearts onto the bottom of those pretzel rods for added little touch. 
And now I'm gonna go ahead and decorate some of our items, starting with our Rice Krispie Treats. And you can see I'm just doing a simple drizzle on the opposite side that's not coated and um, putting some Valentine's sprinkles on that. And for the cake pops, also a drizzle with some Valentine's sprinkles. This is just a simple but very pretty look for our little cake pops. And by the way, guys, these are lemon cake pops, not really a Valentine's flavor, but um, just using them for demonstration, I had some lemon cake left over, and we love lemon around here, so we'll enjoy them. And back to our Oreos. They are out of the freezer and ready to pop out of the molds, and you see how easy they come out. And for the ones with the word love, they are fine the way they are. But for the others, I'm doing a simple drizzle on one side with some Valentine sprinkles. Uh, I think this is just a simple but elegant little look on the chocolate covered Oreos. And now on to our chocolate sucker molds. And I have been dying to use these molds. I got them at Hobby Lobby and they're just so adorable. Everyone seems to love the roses. Um, so here I started with piping some green in for those leafy areas. This was a little tricky. And I did find that, that with one of the rose molds, I could not put the stick in because there was a little flaw in the, um, in the top there where the stick lays. So I did choose to just do a rose in that one. Um, but here I'm taking my red and I'm going to do just um, a couple of those in red and then a couple in pink as well um, just for some different looks and then I will do that little single rose in pink that I could not put the stick on um, but I'm sure it'll be just as pretty as well and you can see here I'm just kind of moving the chocolate around with the spatula a little bit as needed and now for the hearts so this one I'm putting the sticks in and I think I did use a four and a half inch stick um, in these molds uh, the four inch was a little too short but six inch was too long so here you see i'm just putting the chocolate in in various colors and i am rolling that stick a little bit just to make sure it's good and covered so that it will stay good in there and in the freezer we go so now on to our cake hearts and here i'm starting with the geo hearts and as you can see i just put a little chocolate in the bottom and move it around carefully just to make sure all sides are coated um, and i'm doing two pink here and two of the milk chocolate and i usually will just move that around um, to make sure like i said all the sides are coated and then just scrape off the excess on the top of my bowl or whatever i've got my chocolate in and then um, I like to dry mine or set mine upside down. So here I'm doing the two larger hearts with the white chocolate and in the freezer they'll go. And our chocolate suckers are ready to come out. So we'll see how easy these molds here release. Um, and it's a little difficult, but um, just gotta pop it at the right place. I was a little cautious just because I didn't wanna break any of those roses. Uh, I think I did end up breaking a little piece of the greenery off on one corner. Um, but here are suckers, absolutely beautiful. So these don't need a lot of decoration, but I did buy a pack of lips, uh, the candy lips, and I just took a little bit of my melted chocolate and piping bag there and attached those to the hearts. I thought that look was adorable. And our cake heart shells are out of the freezer and ready to be filled. So for the small geo hearts, um, I did have some pink velvet cake uh, left over um, from a cake that I made earlier. And I am using that to fill in these. And when you fill, you always want to fill and leave a little bit of space um, there at the top, just so that your chocolate can lay kind of in the heart and touch the sides. Uh, versus being on top of it um, and I think this just gives um, a smoother bottom to the heart and it's a little easier because then you can just fill in with a little bit of that chocolate and kind of move it around to make sure it touches you know all of the sides there to make sure you get a good seal um, on your cake hearts so I'm going to finish this up here and then pop these back in the freezer for a few minutes and then we're going to move on to our big ones so our two big shells are ready and for this one because it is deeper i did choose to do a second coat on the inside so i'm going to finish that and pop those back in the freezer for a minute now they are back out 
and I am going to just fill these with the rest of that lemon cake that I had and doing the same thing leaving a little bit of space there at the top for that chocolate just to settle in there and um, once I've got it coated real nice and good then I'm going to pop these back in the freezer for a few minutes as well and our small cake hearts are out of the freezer and ready to be unmolded um, and you guys this was a mold with eight eight little heart uh, shapes in it and I did cut it apart I do find that's a little easier to work with that way so they came out absolutely adorable and again I'm doing a little drizzle on the sides and just um, putting some Valentine's sprinkle on there and you can see here I decided to add a few strawberries to the collection today with a simple drizzle and some Valentine's sprinkles as well and now our large cake hearts are ready and out of the freezer. I love that they have this little dip in the top. I decided to take some of the melted chocolate in the pink and just put in the top and add uh, those lips onto the top of this as well. I thought that was really adorable. Now on to some individual packaging. So for the smaller items on a stick, I use the two by three uh, clear bags. And, um, you know, that includes things like the little roses and the cake pops. As long as there's not too much on your cake pops, they'll fit in there nicely. And then I use a four by six clear bag for the larger items um, that are on a stick, like the Rice Krispie Treats. And then for the pretzel rods, I have these bags that are, I think they're two by 10 or 12. I'll link them in the description, but they're also um, self-sealing bags. So this is really nice because you don't have to worry about tying up the ends. Um, and then of course I have four by six bags and these are self-sealing bags. And these are for the larger items that are not on a stick. So that works out perfect for um, you know packaging those individually and for those items that I am kind of putting a bag over that have the stick I have this wonderful tape dispenser sealer that I bought a couple years ago and it has just been a lifesaver um, prior to that I used to kind of just put the little twisty ties on everything and twist it up and that is so time-consuming so um, if you don't have one of these, you may want to invest in it. And I'm definitely going to link this in the description. But you see here, you just kind of wrap it up and push it down in the dispenser. And it's a wonderful tool to have. And of course, for things like strawberries, I just use the mini cupcake liners um, because you always want to make sure you have those sitting on something. And now for the Oreos, I have these adorable little boxes that I purchased um, a while back. Uh, I'll definitely link those in the description if I can remember where I got them. And I got the boxes that hold single Oreos and I also got the boxes that hold uh, two Oreos. Um, but here I'm using the singles for these um, just for a nice um, professional look. And as you can see, I did originally put the ones with love on them in a bag, thinking they wouldn't fit in the boxes, um, but they did fit nicely. And there you go, our Valentine treats are done and individually packaged, ready to go in their gift sets. I am going to be using these to put together some children's gift sets, so be on the lookout for that video. And if you enjoyed this one, make sure you hit the like button and if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notifications bell so you'll be notified when I upload more treats in the future. Thank you for your support and I'll see you next time.